What's up everybody? Pete with Auto Pair Tips. Last week I went to the auction and purchased a Chevy Cobalt uh, 08 model. Just a cheap and expensive car. Just something I could sell, you know, just like under $2,000, you know? And uh, when I got it back, I was driving it back, I was noticing that the check engine light was on and the on the dash display it says uh, power steering. So I'm guessing there was a problem there. So when I got the car back, I threw it up on the scanner and look what I found out. A PO575, a 1682, a 0073, a 0101, a 0140. Most of them are like lost communication, lost communication. The switch failed. That was something I had set doing a looking at something. And a cruise control failed. So the first thing I decided to do was because of the loss of the communication, I went ahead and hooked a breakout box to it. And I wanted to check the data lines just to make sure that everything was communicating correctly. Look what I found out. So if you look right here, we're on pin 14. That's the low can. It's 4.4. That should be like 2.3, 2.8, 2.7, somewhere around there. Pin six is your high. Let's see what the high is. 4.8, 4.5. I mean, it should be 3.8 to maybe 4.0, you know, somewhere around there. So that's, that's a little high also. But the one that concerns me the most is the low. So let's go back to 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the transmission control unit because that's the one causing all the problems. On this cobalt, that's your transmission control unit. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and let's see what it does to the readings. So it immediately dropped it down to 2.5. Let's check out pin six and let's see what that does. Three point eight, and that's more realistic. Let's go back to fourteen again. So you know, at first glance, okay, you're thinking, okay, well, it's got a dag on bad control module, right? <clears throat> then I got to looking. I was like, well, damn, there should be a ground right here. There's no ground there. So remember, this was an auction car, and you know, you, you hate to think people do this, but I can almost guarantee that someone took that ground wire off tucked it away or cut it or did something with it, hoping that when someone else got in the car, they're gonna see a check engine light and they're gonna stay clear of it because it's an 08 Cobalt. How much is it actually worth and how much are you really gonna put into it? I just took a gamble when I went out and bought it and I, I figured, you know, hey, let me get it back and maybe it's something simple. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a jumper wire. I'm gonna hook it from the ground right here to right here and let's see if those volts come down any. I may have to turn the key off and start it back on, but we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the car off. Start the car back up. All right, the readings are at four five because that's more realistic of what's been going on. When I unplugged it, it made it jump up to eight something. So let's hook up this ground wire and let's see what happens to that reading. Ah, look at that. 2.9, settling in, 2.8. Let's unplug that ground wire. 4.6. I bet you that word power steering goes away too off. Check this out. So right now it says low fuel and switches to power steering. Four point six on the volts. We'll hook the ground here. Got a hook right here. Three point four. Let's see if it settles in any. Adjust that ground soon. All right, two point eight, two point seven. All right, what we got now is it says low fuel. Let's see if it switches back to power steering. Nah, it's not switching back to power steering. And we're sitting at two eight. So I'm not even gonna bother to look for the old ground wire. 
I'm just gonna run a new one from the body to that point on that control module and that's gonna fix our problem. Earlier in the video, I had said, you know, that people do things to cars at auctions so they can get them at better prices. You know, maybe I was just talking at a turn. Maybe that wire just disappeared on its own. You know, who's to say, right? All right, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.